Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to another episode of MMT. In the last episode, we picked up 94 Zidane, Cannavaro we had as well as um, Zanetti and Van der Sar in goal. We stayed away from the Figo and we also picked up the 88 Cantona. Now guys, I don't want to turn this video into a total rant or anything going on about how I feel the game is going this year, but look at this clip right here. This, this sums up FIFA 21 in a nutshell. That clip right there, it is so hard to find the angle or space for a shot. And I know it could be like that in football sometimes, but literally it's every time you get into the box on this game because everyone plays so defensive. But yeah, this weekend league was one of the toughest ones that I've played because the gameplay felt a bit slow. I don't know if it was just me, maybe it's just me playing on Xbox, but it felt a bit slow, it felt a bit sluggish at times. Look at me, I, I'm so scared to shoot in the box, I have to spam the fake shot button when I get in the box. But yeah, this weekend league was tough, man. It was tough, regardless of what kind of team that I came up against. Um, everyone all, always seemed to cause me a problem and even games where I was 3 or 4 nil up in, it felt like the hardest game of my life even when I got those goals and it didn't feel satisfying. And I feel like because it takes so much to break down someone's defence, it can be really, really difficult at times. Um, this guy I was playing against was a pretty good opponent to be fair. Um, there I was really frustrated because I think one of the things that is a struggle is if you change and you have that red cursor over your defender's head, good luck. Lovely goal from my opponent there. Uh, pulled me apart, pulled me out, and he made it 3-0. But if, if you have the cursor over your defender's head, good luck. Like, if you look at most of the goals scored in this game, when the cursor's over your defender, good luck. When the computer is in control of the situation, there it is. And I think for me, it's really sad that that is how to defend on FIFA. And that's why I struggle, because I have so many old habits from where you used to manu manually uh, defend yourself. I have so many old habits that I'm trying to bring onto these games, and that's just not how to play it. So let me know your thoughts down below. FIFA 20 or FIFA 21? Which so far do you think has been the better game as he gets a bit of jam there uh, to make it 4-2. Uh, Zidane scores a penalty to make it 4-3 for me as well. But yeah, what do you think was the better game? FIFA 20 or FIFA 21? Um, for me, at first I thought FIFA 21. Uh, but I think one of the main issues, what is that goalkeeping by the way? My goodness, Van der Sar! Van, Van der Sar, what was that? Um, but yeah, my thing is FIFA 21 is being played like FIFA 20. The exact same meta and that is a problem for me at the moment it's a problem but yeah we got Mane 91 Mane and 89 Gerard in uh, we also put Varane and Carlos Alberto in there as well uh, change the defense back up and I was hoping just uh, like at that point I'd lost maybe two or three games that might be in the third game I lost I'm not too sure and I just thought you know what let me go try out some new cards and then Gerard getting on the score sheet uh, on his debut and I have to say I did like the 89 Gerard when I used him on maybe FIFA 20 or FIFA 19 one of those I really did like him uh, but one I, I don't know I think one of the things that lets him down is the fact that he hasn't got four star skills uh, but yeah still an enjoyable card to use uh, I'm struggling with the 4-4-2 at the moment so I have to find a new formation but yeah back to what I was saying before anyway uh, FIFA 21 is being played like FIFA 20 and a lot of people are using the same meta going down the line or the same sort of passes uh, that hold wide to the through ball literally and that's what tears me apart and I don't know if it's the same for you guys as well so I think the reason why a lot of us are struggling on FIFA 21 is because the game's been played in the exact same way so we're already burning out we're thinking we're like what five or six weekend leagues in now and we're burning out we're thinking what's going on but it's because the game's been played in the same style where it's like defensively everyone seems to be on the same level my depth is only the uh, three or four so I don't know why it looks like my team's that deep but you guys know me I don't play defensive at all I, I'm always attacking I always like to attack there for some reason my Varane and uh, Van der Sar turn into absolute dummies there and he gets the equalizer in this game but yeah like most of the games that I play it's so so hard to break down opponents because they can play drop back they can play really deep and no matter the level of your opponent this week uh, it just felt like it was the hardest game ever so I can't even tell normally I can tell okay this guy probably gets gold two okay this this guy probably gets silver one or something okay this guy's elite three this guy might be elite two this guy's top 200 but I couldn't tell this week because everything felt like that and I don't know why but let me know your thoughts like I don't want to uh, come out and seem like I'm just complaining about the game but I'm just gonna highlight a few things in this video uh, if we're talking about Gerard and Mane by the way for those of you guys want to know Mane is very good to use as a winger sometimes his shooting may let him down and it is a little bit frustrating 
Um, but yeah, it's a lot better than it was in 20 anyway. And Mane is still a user, uh, very usable card. If you guys remember the first week of champs, actually, I had the 89 striker Mane on FIFA 20, and he was so, so good. He was one of the reasons why we did get top 100. But yeah, uh, back to it. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm struggling on this game, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to detach myself because every time we come to rewards, um, it's not really worth it. But it's so hard. To literally just let go of your FIFA pride sometimes because you want to win the game. Look at that AI block. This is what I want to talk about as well. So we've had an AI block. I didn't press one button for Varane to do that. It literally just changed it to Varane and he did it himself. But look, if you have a corner, this is what can happen to you. If you have a corner, this is what can happen to you. Just in a matter of moments, boom, you're so exposed. So if you don't play very defensive and you don't have numbers back, then you're just going to be exposed and this is all it takes to undo you as well you see i changed to carlos alberto for a second and that's where i made the mistake how can controlling your defenders be a mistake it's crazy but yeah we go back up the other end and somehow he doesn't intercept that and we're able to make it 2-1 but i don't know just let me know man I, I i must be going crazy again i have that fear in the box i have to do so many fake shots what do you guys think? I don't ever remember AI blocks uh, or auto blocks being such a big thing uh, in FIFA 20. I don't think it was ever that bad. Usually, if anything, the problem was the, the ball would go straight through players. That was the glitch in FIFA 20. But there, yet again, I didn't press a button. Carlos Alberto, just there. Just there. Look, here I'm trying to fake shot. That should be a penalty, by the way. I'm trying to fake shot, get the angle. When they get numbers in the box, it's a myth. And when you get the chance... Sometimes someone like Mane might just do that. It's, it, I don't know, it's just hit and miss. So what I've noticed as well is when I am trying to score, I struggle. When I'm not trying to score, it hits off someone's shin, comes back, hits off their airlobe, and like it goes in or something. Like it, It's actually a madness. So I think maybe the key to doing well on this game is not watching tutorials for stuff. It's literally just sit back and hope. Sit back and hope and you might get the result that you need. But yeah, like I said, a very, very difficult weekend for me. I don't know if you guys felt the same. What did you guys finish on if you played champs this weekend? And also, are you still playing champs? Because a lot of people are coming into my chat on Twitch and telling me, you know what, Manny, I I'm done with this game already. And that's what it stems from the thing that I said before, where it feels like, um, because the game's been played exactly how 20 was, for most of us that played champs during all of 20, we're already burning out bit by bit. By the way, my opponent scored a really, really good goal there. Uh, we try and work it there. Varane, I'm surprised he didn't AI block it. Um, but yeah, we, we were able to get the shot off and we got a corner. Then from that corner, we worked our way into the box with Cruyff and Lozano. And this is what, I literally have to do trigonometry to score a goal. I'm so scared of the AI block. I'm so scared of my shot being blocked. I'm so scared of an auto tackle or something or just the game repositioning his player for him. Look at me. I even tried to beat it there. And if, if um, his player didn't block it there, Gerard probably would have blocked it as well. But yeah, we work it back into Zidane and he absolutely roosts it. So yeah, um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just trying not to be negative and I'm hoping that the introduction of next gen on FIFA 21 shows us a little bit of a change to gameplay. Look at that, we block it with uh, Varane there and we get punished. We get punished, he just has a, a through ball, through to Pogba, sweats across to Mbappe and we get punished. And then if you even do beat the defender with the fake shot in the box, the keeper movement's an element as well. And I would feel like that's not an issue if it doesn't mean that they automatically save it just because they shift their keeper the tiniest bit. And I'm just showing you these chances of me trying to break down my opponent in this game. I'm literally trying to do all that I can to work the spaces and get that look. I'm scared to shoot again, but this time we get a penalty. From that penalty, we missed it. And uh, this is how the game ended up panning out. Mane gives away the ball. If you take any sort of risky pass, that's it. And in the last minute of the game, we lose, or late minutes in the game, sorry, 86th minute, we lose three two it was very frustrating but then i go to attack my opponent and look at look at the radar just look at the radar like where where is the through road there's no through road you literally have to do a madness to try and get through and that is what most games feel like in champs and i know people say people have been saying to me a lot on twitter or sometimes they come into my stream just because you pay and you buy loads of fifa points doesn't mean you should win every game I'm not saying I should win every game, and I'm not the only one experienced in people playing drop back. This is why I'm saying it's an issue because these tactics allow people to just sit back and defend and hope for a win or hope for a goal or hold wide down the line. That's why I'm saying because it's not just happening to me. There's a lot of people who don't spend money on the game complaining about it, so it must 
actually be an issue in the game. So I think it's something that needs to be addressed. Do I think EA will address it? Probably not. Um, do I think it's going to change? Probably not. And I, I also want to know your guys' opinions on um, tactics. What do you think of the tactics? Do you think it makes it too easy for people? Or do you think it's fine and tactics should be a thing? Tactics are a thing in football. They should be uh, as they are in FIFA 21 currently. And um, yeah, this guy was actually a follower of my stream. He said he used to watch my stream and stuff. Uh, so it's an interesting game to play anyway. Uh, we'll go one nil down, then we work a chance there with Pele. And uh, it was just another one of those games that this guy said he gets Elite 3 most weeks. So I'm not afraid to lose to someone who gets Elite 3 because if you are capable of getting Elite 3, you're a very decent player at FIFA. You're, you're pretty good at FIFA. Um, but yeah, we work it into this box again. Mbappe and Pele make it 2-1. And yeah, it was just it was a very tough game. Again, trying to break down someone's defense is very difficult. Here uh, we have the ball with Pele. Van Dijk makes a tackle, and we are just exposed. And this is where the 4-4-2 seems to be letting me down as well. Why was De Bruyne just in so much space there? Nice skill from him to cancel that. Uh, works it out here to Fatty. Uh, works it out wide to Alba, and I, I I don't know for Carlos Alberto. I I absolutely have no idea. Why he's gone for the bicycle kick it probably must be that i was holding lt or something but i would have hoped that he'd head it uh, he just didn't in that case so he had to work it into his box again and then uh neymar makes it three two and then in the last minute of the game he has a free kick on the edge of the box ben Yedda, uh not deciding to shoot this time gerard cuts it out and here i just wanted to get out and away from uh my box that's all i wanted to do it did some weird pass and then i concede 90 plus two to kante 90 plus 2, Kante across goal, uh, and obviously, as you can imagine, I was probably fuming. But we go into extra time anyway, anyway uh, work it here to Neymar, Neymar onto Mane, and Mane proving that he actually can finish sometimes. I, I don't think it's not that this Mane card can't finish, it's just inconsistent. So sometimes you have the ones where he just shoots it at the goalkeeper. But here, again, this is another, like, what is that? What is that goal? In the 100th minute, what is that goal? My opponent knows as well. It's a terrible goal. And in the end, we go to a game that we were 3-2 up in the 92nd minute. Uh, we conceded and we lose on penalty. So that is the fine margins on champs for me. And I think it's not necessarily... I don't mind losing games. You guys watch me when I'm playing champs live and stuff. I don't mind losing games. I would like my opponent to be better than me when I lose, but it's not always going to be like that. But it's the way you lose. What is this goal? I've literally just tried to clear it as far as I can up the pitch and he just kicked it in his face. And then what is that after? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I have no problem losing. If my opponent's better than me and I lose, you guys know I say it. If my opponent scores a good goal, I'll say it. That's a good goal, actually. Or I could have defended better there. I could have done this better. I could have defended better here as well. Uh, he goes through and that's a good goal. Ball rolls my goalkeeper and we go a goal down. And then we try and work this here in the box. I just want to quickly show you guys this. Look how quickly his card gets his, foot, his leg back down. That's fake. That's not realistic. His leg's gone up. It won't go back down that quickly. Uh, and he's probably closed his eyes in that instant. But in a game where we were trying to get back into it, controlling it at times, literally, it was just one ball straight after that block, by the way, uh, by his defender, and we conceded. So we had to try and find a way back into the game, and we do that just with Pele there. Pele's still my favourite player in the game. So swift. Even when the game plays sluggish, he does try and uh, beat that by his swiftness. And uh, yeah, still my favourite player, uh, uh, player on the game, alongside this man who just scores that goal there, Johan Cruyff. However, I have been, it has been highlighted to me that Johan Cruyff's um, shot power isn't enough, so I might be looking to replace him with someone else, who knows. But this is my thing with the game, this is what I was saying before. When I don't want to score, I'm, I'm not trying to score like that, that's how I score. So it's just based on jam, so I'm trying to tell myself, you know what, it's based on jam, don't get stressed. But it's hard to see. You guys know it as well. We all complain at the game. And imagine, I would have lost that game. I came close to losing that game. I was 2-0 down and we had to really, really fight back to get into it. But yeah, what do you guys think on FIFA 21 so far? Look at that. That is ridiculous. I shouldn't get through there. I shouldn't get through there, but I do. So, I don't know. There is, There are elements of skill to the game, but then so much of it is jam. And here, I'm thinking, in real life, Pele has so much time to shoot. Kimpembe is no way closing that down. But he closed down that space so quickly. I had to fake shot. And also, we have to try and beat the keeper movement. But we hit the crossbar there. This guy works it in. Depay left-footed into the back of my net. 
and uh, Van der Sar, I don't know, I'm, I'm not too sure about him. He has made some decent saves, but he's too random. Look, what is that? What is that? To make me go 2-1 down in the game. Why has my Van der Sar not come out and claimed that ball? I have no idea, but we equalise anyway. Goes into the 91st minute, and we could have lost this game. If I didn't rush with the goalkeeper, we could have lost this game. Look at the stats. Look at the stats, and I know it's not always based on stats, but there's so it's fine margins in this game of FIFA, man, and it's really mad. So I'm trying my hardest, my hardest, guys. I promise you to keep positive. We're still early in the FIFA cycle as well, but please let next gen change this game. And this is again when I'm not trying to score. Oh, when I'm not trying to score like that, that's how I score. What is his goalkeeper doing there? It's too random, random, and I'm seeing clips go viral online of just dumb stuff happening in, in, in the game. And someone that I can do this to, I was literally so close to losing this game too. But like I said, this has probably been my worst weekend so far. Um, actually, just this is my game for Elite in the end, Elite 3. And that is our worst finish so far. So we, before that, our worst finish was 24, I think. And now our worst finish is 23, which is still a good thing. Uh, if I'm honest, regardless of the team, but this is this is a game that I was about to lose. We go into extra time and it finished 7-2. So what do you guys think? Do you think there's a skill gap on FIFA 21? What do you think of the game overall? Are you looking forward to the next gen if you're getting it? And do you think there'll be much of a change? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, if I'm talking about the players that we got, Gerard and Mane, I really did enjoy using Gerard. Uh, I do need to reevaluate what formation I'm using overall because I don't think the 4-4-2 is it. And I think defensively, it leaves me too exposed as you've seen in this video. But we'll keep working on it. Let me know down in the comment section below what icons or what players do you want me to try out. Uh, 89 Bruno Fernandes, I've been using him in the series with Gorilla and he seems to be pretty good as well. So maybe we should try him out. But are there any icons that you want me to try out? Uh, let me know down in the comment section below and hopefully I'll get onto it soon. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the, the like buttons for me. Subscribe if you're new and let me know your thoughts on the game. Other than that, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace. Destined for greatness Back in school days I was known for my lateness Always wanted more Wouldn't ever try to take less Always been the real guy Never liked the fakeness Never liked the fakeness Always kept it real though Back to back On the track with my little bro Keep our heads high But we work with our heads low Destined for greatness It was known from the get go You see it's greatness I'm destined for